Kelly Sparta again. Hey, this is my sixth video of the day. So I'm looking a little punchy. That would be why. Yes, I record these in advance. So uh, I am talking to you today about the gift of pain. And I know you're going to look at me and go, pain is a gift? I don't freaking think so. It's like, yes, pain is a gift. The, especially when we're talking about emotional pain, because when we are looking at emotional pain in particular, uh, when somebody manages to mash on one of our buttons and they, they poke us and we go, ow, ow, right? That is an indicator that you actually have a button, okay? If you don't get that button pushed, you don't know it's there, okay? So uh, think of a button as being the, uh, it, it is an inner belief that you hold that you are in some way not okay, okay? So for a button to be active, it has to say, I am X and X is bad, right? So if somebody pushes your button, you say, okay, ouch, that hurts. So that pain is actually useful. It's a gift to you. It says, hey, did you know you have a button here? You have this button here, which means you have a belief that you're beating yourself up with from time to time that you might wanna take a look at. And here, 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 look, it's right here. It's right here, it's right here. You have an opportunity to heal it now. Okay. If you see the pain that is being offered to you by the outside world as a indicator that you have an internal belief structure that is causing you that pain, rather than, ow, you did this to me, you suck, right? When you're blaming somebody else, you are out of your power center. You are in victim mode and you are not able to fix it. However, if you look at yourself and say, hey, they did this to me and yeah, I've got a button that says that. So you can start the conversation by saying, mm, you hit my X button, right? So for me, my big core button for many years was uh, you hit my non-important button, right? That was a big one for me. And so I'd be like, ow, you hit my non-important button. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Which is me taking responsibility for the fact that I have a button and naming it and labeling it. And then it gives the other person the, 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 the chance to say, oh, I think you're very important to me. You are very important to me. I did not mean to say that you were not important because most of the time people hit your button completely unconsciously. They don't mean to. You just go, you've got so many buttons all over you. It's just like, if they touch you at all, you're like, what? right we don't mean to be like that either we just that's what we've got until we heal right i used to have buttons all over me right until i started uninstalling them so when you are feeling pain recognize that there there's likely a button underneath it and you know if there's no button under it let's say it's physical pain right the gift of physical pain is the opportunity to experience something that's not pain, okay? So you cannot experience joy without grief to offset it. You, you won't know, okay? The, the level of the joy will be much lower because you don't have a, a differential to it. You, you can't experience ecstasy without agony, okay? Your, your experience will be flattened based on what level of experience you're willing to have in both directions. And so if you limit what you're willing to experience down here, your upper levels will also be limited because we, it's an as within, so without, as above, so below. It's a, it's a balancing of duality that exists within our experiential level. And so the agony that we experience today allows us to experience the ecstasy of tomorrow. And so while that doesn't help to make it less painful, it does help you to understand that ecstasy is found in agony and agony is found in ecstasy. And at higher levels of spiritual growth, you can actually find the ecstasy within the pain itself. Uh, but that's a that's an advanced level skill. So for, for the moment, I'm just going to say, look, you know, this is, they allow you to experience each other. And so welcome it from that perspective 
and move through it as you as as you can. Okay. Hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like it. Please hit the subscribe button or uh, subscribe to the podcast or rate uh, and share. I so appreciate it when you do. Uh, and if you want to learn more about an, uh, energy work and healing work and buttons and all of that, uh, by all means, pick up a copy of my book, The Overachiever's Guide to Nailing Your Spiritual Growth in Record Time. Uh, the link for that is also in the description or the show notes. All right. We'll talk to you next time. Have a good one.